Hi, my name's Adam Rattenbury, and I'm the lead physio with Welsh Athletics, and we're going to show you some of our top tips using some of the physique products to promote strength and stability. Okay, Joe, so we're going to use this physique uh, balance pad to have a look at some exercises to improve the balance and stability of your ankle. Uh, this is good for some proprioception and some single leg stability, so it's good after kind of ankle sprains or kind of any foot and ankle trauma. So all I want you to do to start with is just have a stand on the balance pad for me and just get your balance on it on one leg. So we can use this as kind of level one for our exercise. And then if that feels too easy for you, what I want you to do then is just start to move that leg in the air and challenge your balance a little bit harder. So forwards and backwards. And then cutting across in front and cutting across behind. Nice, and we do that for about 30 seconds. What I want you to do this time, another slight uh, challenge for you, is just to pass the ball forwards and backwards around your back. So just keep your balance. And with this one, to make it harder, you can just speed up the, uh, the pass. You can go with something slightly harder, or you can just move that circle, a wider circle around your body. And then if we want to challenge you slightly further, just take a rest and switch legs again. We're going to go throw and catch the ball. Good. And we'll start off nice and easy. And then if we want to challenge you slightly further, we'll just start to pass to the side of you. And again, we do about 30 seconds. OK, Joe, we're going to use some of the Physique mini bands to have a look at some simple strengthening exercises for your ankle. So if you sit with your feet out in front for me, what we're going to do is put the band around your ankle. So we're going to place it just below the level of the toes. And then if you just move your feet about shoulder width apart, so you're just putting some tension through the band, what I want you to do then is just around the ankle is just start to turn the foot out and start to turn the foot back in again and nice and slowly. So kind of one to two seconds out, one to two seconds in. So this is going to strengthen through the outside of the shin. Like that. That's it. And then to do the inside of the shin, what I want you to do is put your right foot on the outside of your left foot. That's it. And just put some tension through the band. And then it's the same thing, but through the opposite movement. So just gently pull it inwards. There about. So again, one to two seconds out, one to two seconds in. Can you feel that working? Yeah. Pull down the outside of my shin. That's good. If you pop the band off for me and have a stand up. Uh, if you put the band around your feet to start with and just stand quite close to the box. And then the band goes around just below the toes again. Okay, and then bring one foot up onto the box and bring the other foot nice and close. Toes over the edge. And all I want you to do then is just pull your toes up towards you. So again, one to two seconds up one to two seconds down and go through the nice big range of movement. And then this time you should feel it down the front of the shin. Can you feel that working? Yeah, and what muscles would you, is it targeting the most? So this one is working your tibialis anterior, which yeah. is the shin that pulls the toes up towards you, which is really important for you as a sprinter. Okay, Joe, so we're gonna have a look at an exercise now for some core stability. So this exercise, we're gonna use the physique Swiss ball. Uh, and this exercise we're going to look at um, kind of engagement and stability um, through your lower abdominals. So what I want you to do is come onto a press-up position with your hips on top of the ball. Great. And then just to get yourself into the set position, what I want you to do is make sure your spine is nice and straight. So we've got a neutral spine. Slight bit of tension through the glutes, so just picking your heels up and then good, just dropping your shoulders down slightly. Cool. So you should feel some tension now through your lower abdominal muscles. Yeah. What I want you to do now is just gently move five or six inches forwards. And keep that spine nice and flat. Good. You'll feel the abs working nice and hard and then come back to the start position and then four or five inches back the other way. And what we're looking for is that you can maintain that, that spine in a nice neutral flat position as you're moving forwards and as you're moving backwards. How long should the movement take? So it should take two or three seconds to go forwards, two or three seconds to come backwards. And we'd usually do reps in the ranges of kind of six to eights. 
um, but what we're looking for is the quality of movement. So I do this a couple of times a week as part of some uh, core stability exercises and you should feel that kind of tightening up where you wear your belt. Yeah. So that kind of lower abdominal area. Okay Joe, we're going to move on to some simple exercises for some shoulder stability. So we're going to use the physique power bands and we've got a range of these um, for different resistances. So we're going to go through a YTW. So what I want you to do is grab the red band in front of you. Um, so these exercises are going to work through the back of the shoulder and through the cuff uh, around the shoulder. So for the Y, we're going to start with uh, hands around shoulder width apart. We're going to use the, the long resistance of the band for this one. So keeping your shoulders relaxed and uh, in a neutral position, all I want you to do is bring your hands above your head, towards above your head and finish in that Y position and you'll feel that activation through the back of the shoulder. Yeah. And back down. How long should that take me? So about one to two seconds through the movement. And then for our T position, we're going to use the resistance across the uh, a band between your hands. So again, shoulders nice and relaxed. And then from there, coming up in front and then moving towards that T position. And you'll feel that in a slightly different position on the back of the shoulder. Yeah. And again, one to two seconds. Good, relax the shoulders. And then we'll move into our W. And this is a combination of using the resistance through the long part and the short part. So what I want you to do is leading with your elbows, is bring your elbows back to your side, and then you're gonna bring your hands above your elbows and finish in a W position. Good. That's it, and then and what rotate. muscles is, is this working? So this is looking at the cuff around the back of the shoulder and also what we call your posterior shoulder, so um, the muscles on the back of the shoulder. And as a sprinter I assume this helps keep my form and stuff. Yep. So Nice um, posture. Upright posture, shoulder stability. Good. Well done.